In my earlier videos on budgie breeding, we brought a pair of budgies from the aviary, had some chicks, unfortunately lost one to an unusual death, and are now left with two baby budgies. Thankfully, these two remaining chicks are thriving and growing healthier with each passing day. On day 15 for the first baby, and day 13 for the second, it's remarkable how just a two-day difference results in distinct feather growth, making it easy to distinguish between them. Baby budgie pin feathers, also known as emerging feathers or blood feathers, are an essential part of a young budgerigar's growth and development. Baby budgies typically grow pin feathers rapidly. As pin feathers emerge, they can cause itching and discomfort for the young budgie. To relieve this discomfort, budgies will often use their beaks to preen and help the feathers unfurl. Parent budgies play a crucial role in assisting their chicks during the pin feather stage. They gently groom and preen their offspring, helping to remove the protective sheaths and aiding in the development of mature feathers. Mother Angel continues to sleep and rest in the nest box, always ready to assist her babies if they need her. It's day 16 since hatching. The colors of the emerging feathers may differ slightly from the adult feathers. The final coloration becomes more apparent as the feathers mature and the sheaths are shed. As budgies grow and mature, they go through multiple molting cycles throughout their lives. During these times, they shed and replace their old feathers, including the pin feathers. On day 17, their feathers continue to sprout and they're beginning to resemble miniature adult budgies. They're becoming more affectionate, seeking comfort in my hands and enjoying the attention. On day 18, the growth of their feathers is even more pronounced. It's becoming evident that they won't inherit the blue or white genes like their mother. They're taking after their father with vibrant yellow and green colors. On day 19, for the first and 17 for the second, the second one is already practicing to strengthen its wings for flight even though there aren't enough feathers yet. Their feather growth is progressing rapidly, and it's only a matter of a few more days until they are fully covered. On day 20 since hatching, the baby budgies are standing, attentively listening to their surroundings. Now this is the difference between a 20-day-old chick and a 12-day-old chick. Their feathers have grown beautifully. It's the perfect time to take over feeding the chicks from their parents and start the process of hand taming these budgies. They absolutely love the baby bird feeding formula. On day 21, they've grown into calm and gentle little birds. However, they're still not ready to leave the nest and feed on their own. On day 22 for the first budgie and 20 for the second since they hatched, their growth over the past five days has been remarkable. Feathers now cover their entire wings and heads, and in the coming days, they will experience rapid growth on their backs and fronts. On day 23, they're still lacking the strength to perch on my finger. Their behavior reveals that the first one is more shy and cautious, while the second is more confident and adventurous. But one thing they both agree on is that being on warm hands is the best place to be. On day 24, I can hardly wait for them to start eating seeds on their own. On day 25, they're still in the nest, dependent on their parents. However, they've become more active, exploring their nest. Most of their time is spent grooming their newly grown feathers. These feathers are smoothing out and taking on a much softer appearance. The mother is clearly proud of her grown chicks. 
On day 26 for the first and 24 for the second baby budgie, let's compare their growth to day 10. In just 16 days they've grown significantly. They're still babies, being cared for by their mother, and it's heartwarming to see them groom their mother to say thank you. On day 27, these little birds are incredibly cute. Their entire bodies are nearly covered in feathers, with just a small patch remaining on their backs. They're almost ready to start eating on their own. On day 28 for the first and 26 for the second, their whole bodies are now covered in feathers. And you might even discover them exploring outside the nest. I placed a shallow bowl of seeds inside the nest to test if they were ready for taming. It's much easier to tame baby budgies that haven't yet learned to fly. The mother showed them how to eat and open seeds, and soon they joined in. On day 29 for the first and 27 for the second baby budgie, they are becoming almost independent birds. Finally, on day 30, my first hatched baby budgie ventured out of the nest. This signifies that they are now ready to live independently. As for my second budgie, today marks 28 days since hatched. The next stages involve molting and sera color change. Let's compare day 1 to day 30 to observe these developments. As they are now feeding on their own, it's time to separate them from their parents. While it might sound a bit sad, this is a normal step in the process as we prepare to tame and hand feed them. The growth stages are now complete but I'll see you in the next episode where I'll be focusing on taming these baby budgies. You are awesome. Thank you for watching and subscribing. See you in my next video.